Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. We're going to be talking about having a Leo Sun and Leo Mercury in a natal chart. And I'm going to elaborate and expound on that. What I'm talking about is having that Sun Mercury combination in a natal chart. Now, uh, first off, uh, the basic character, which is the Sun and the Sun being in Leo in this case, can be very uh, flamboyant, gregarious, extravagant. Uh, generous, magnanimous, courageous, and attention-seeking. Now, as far as the communication goes, which is Mercury, a um, person may communicate with a lot of confidence, um, commun communicate about you know, creative ideas, uh, it might be with some you know, or of superiority, and also with pride and even that real veracity. Communications with this person may be a little bit louder you know, than uh, some some other people, <laughs> most others, I would say. Um, now, the Leo Sun, uh, Sun is about our basic wants in astrology. Leo Sun uh, wants to shine, uh, get attention, be praised and lauded. Now, uh, Leo Mercury uh, may talk about creating things, things that can dominate uh, drama, entertainment, uh, the military and sports. The true self, uh, which is the sun, in this case the sun, being Leo, can be uh, extravagant, boastful, uh, confident, and generous. The thinking, uh, which is Mercury, uh, and Mercury being in Leo, a uh, person may believe their thinking is often superior to others. They may be a little bit arrogant um, in their thinking process, uh, and also um, could be creative as well. And the thing about it is it may be, you know, where the mind may be more, you know, very averse, you know, to others' uh, viewpoints in many instances. Now, this combination of this uh, Leo Sun and Leo Mercury, well, the way as far as how this may integrate uh, with each other, well, the person may act, which is the Sun, and think, which is Mercury. Um, as though, um, you know, they may feel, you know, that they're superior. Now, the mind can be willful, uh, which could be, you know, as far as, you know, the mishaps go, this person may, you know, really, um, you know, make similar mishaps continually um, because the mind, you know, is set on doing things a certain way and whether it's erroneous or not. They may be oblivious to other suggestions for the correct method of things at times. And the, um, the thing about this too, if uh, Mercury is posited before the sun, uh, the person, you know, thinking may be more premeditative. The person, he or she, may often think, which is Mercury, before acting, which is the sun. Now, uh, let's say if the sun is posited before Mercury, then the person may often act, which is the sun, before thinking and Mercury. Now, uh, this could shine the light on, um, you know, which is the sun, on communication, which is Mercury ability, if this is a uh, conjunction um, aspect. Now, conjunction you know, in astrology is zero degrees, and I use a 10 degree orb if at least one personal planet is involved. Now, in this case, of course, you have two personal planets that would be involved in the aspect of Sun and Mercury. And it could also, I mean, when you have the Sun conjunct Mercury, it could also give very, you know, retentive, you know, mind and memory, and could even give, you know, mathematical skills. Um, so it's something where, you know, when you have this as well, keep in mind the Sun is connected with their actions. So. Hey, the person, you know, when acting on the you know, actions may be done with a lot of self-confidence, self-assuredness, that real confidence and, and that ferocity, even as well. They may be attention seeking, or they may garner, get more attention whether this person is trying to get that or not, because Leo people can automatically seem like they can get some kind of attention and notoriety because they are just, you know, very charismatic people. Um, now, also what I want to get out, okay, the sun in astrology, is connected with the biological father and children. And having a Leo son, uh, person's uh, you know, biological father and at least one child, 
may actually be a Leo Sun Moon or Ascendant or embody those characteristics and Mercury is associated with siblings cousins and neighbors so having a Leo Mercury uh, you know one or more of these people may actually be a Leo Sun Moon or Ascendant or embody those traits and it's also about the perception of these people so having you know Leo Sun the person may perceive the biological father and at least one child is uh, you know, courageous, generous, magnanimous, uh, gregarious, extroverted, um, confident, but at the same time may perceive you know, um, those people as you know, arrogant, bombastic, um, extravagant, and also overly flamboyant. Uh, could be uh, you know willful as some examples and the thing with uh, Leo Mercury the person may perceive you know a number of siblings cousins and neighbors the same way they may perceive those people as um, courageous generous magnanimous uh, gregarious extroverted uh, charismatic magnetic but may also see um, sort of perceive those people as being overly bombastic, arrogant, extravagant, um, could be you know, acting uh, you know, superior you know, to others, uh, maybe even loud and boisterous as some examples. Now, another thing too, you know, with this, this is a combination. You know, naturally that can have you know, a lot of, you know, confidence and self-assuredness to say the absolute least because you're talking about the sun being in Leo and the sun in astrology is connected with the basic fundamental character and that the person's basic character may be one that's showy and you know and can be boastful but confident um, as well um, you know I knew somebody that had a Leo um, sun in Gemini rising and he would and he was boasting one day about you know he was, he was being such a quick thinker and he said it two times he said it like very emphatically like he really believed it and you know, he said I'm such a quick thinker I'm such a quick thinker and, you know that's just that Leo energy you know epitomizes it right there I understand Leo's can be confident sometimes it can be a little bit overly boastful and you now Leo Mercury you know, on the positive side, you know, it's really about a lot of, again, creative, uh, creative thinking. And it can be, you know, a strong ability for, you know, especially if you have this aspect, I'd say in the conjunction aspect, again, could give, you know, very good retentive memory. And if the sun is conjunct Mercury and Leo, especially, it could be for, like, memorizing things connected uh, with acting. This could be a good combination for actors and um, and actresses and it's say especially with the uh, conjunction um, aspect and this is um, you know as well when you have um, you have this combination that you have to guard against being overly willful this could be a combination that might not be easily appeased because Leo energy is about you know they often want you know be, you know their expectations can be grandiose and it might be you know like nothing is ever enough for for no, for many people that have this combination because you know leo is a generous sign and they want you know when people you know are going to do something for them they want it done you know it's not necessarily to perfection but they want somebody you know, to really give all their effort and if this person you know doesn't see that then you know there can be some difficulties in dealing uh with this person as a result that has uh this combination because the expectations of others can be very you know, grandiose and large to say the absolute least anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment until next time and we learn science stay well